Hello, my name is Greg Coward. I'm a solution architect with F5. And in this video, we're going to take a look at how to integrate F5 telemetry streaming with Splunk Enterprise, as well as make use of the new Splunk add-on for F5 Big IP. To start the configuration process, we're going to first install a couple of add-ons. We'll be installing the F5 Splunk add-on. In addition, we'll be also installing the common information model. Splunk's common information model is what we'll be using to normalize our incoming data so it can be used across multiple Splunk products. And with the CIM installed, I'll now install the Splunk add-on for F5. And that's it, quite straightforward, real simple to do. Now with our add-on put in, we need to do a couple other things to start preparing the Splunk Enterprise environment to receive data. So as you can see here, first though, I have the ability to configure a big IP where I actually can do pull commands from the F5 from Splunk to bring in data. But in this case, we're actually gonna be working with telemetry streaming. We're gonna be pushing data to the Splunk Enterprise system. F5 telemetry streaming is F5's newest and preferred way for offloading uh, remote logging systems. And currently what I need to do is I need to also create an event collector. An event collector is basically the endpoint that'll be exposed to receive incoming telemetry data. I have to modify my global settings to enable tokens. I'm also gonna enable SSL in the port I'm gonna be utilizing. And now I'm gonna add a new token. The token will be the identifier that is actually used and presented for credentials from the F5 system to ingest data into the Splunk Enterprise environment. So I create my, create my HTTP collector. I'm gonna specify the allowed indexes that can work with this collector. Most notably for me, it'll be the F5 underscore index. I'll review. Go ahead and submit that and it's all configured. And I have my token value, I can copy that and I'll be using that later to actually configure the big IP to push data to the Splunk Enterprise system. All right, so now I can actually turn my attention to the big IP. And as you can see here, I actually already have an application deployed in the big IP. This is a, just a straight web application. It has a security policy installed as well. Now to actually configure the Big IP, I'm going to be using the automation tool chain. This basically includes a couple of things we're going to be utilizing. AS3, which is our automated services declaration environment, gives me the ability to actually configure Big IP application resources through a declarative interface. I'm also going to be doing the configuration for our Splunk integration. In other words, I'm going to be configuring the Big IP to tell it where to send the data. So first, using Postman, I'm going to go ahead and send my AS3 declaration. And if you look at our blog post, this declaration is available through there through a link. And as you can see here, I've now configured all the resources uh, that are required for telemetry streaming on the Big IP. Now I'm going to go on the Splunk side here. Once again, uh, once again on the Big IP side, I'm going to configure Splunk to send the data over. So I've specified my passcode, my token, my endpoint. Uh, I hit submit, and it's just like that. I have now configured on the Big IP to start sending data. So the last couple of things I need to do for this, though, is I actually need to go to the Big IP interface, as we're seeing here. You can notice I have my new telemetry profile set up. But I also need to actually sign logging profiles. So we created some logging profiles with the AS3 decoration. Now these logging profiles I'm going to actually assign to my virtual server. So aside from system data which is sent, this is actually going to send HTTP analytics, TCP analytics, as well as, you can see here, uh, analytics and metrics uh, associated with my WAF security policy. So at this point here, I'm actually enabling my WAF security policy, which was just created through my declaration. Just a matter of updating it. And there we go. So now my virtual server has multiple logging profiles configured to it. And at this point now, everything is configured and data is starting to flow from my big IP into my Splunk Enterprise system. So actually now what we're going to do, the last part here is we're going to take a look at dashboards. So really what good is data without having the ability to look at it and make use of it? So we have a couple of dashboards I'm going to go ahead and install here. I'm going to bring in a couple sample ones, one for WAF uh, insights and one for uh, just big IP metrics. The way I do that is I create a new dashboard in Splunk and I go through the source and I actually modify the underlying XML data. So as you can see here, I'm out on my GitHub site. I'm actually grabbing uh, some XML data. This is the configuration for our WAF insights. Now we'll paste that into the source data of my dashboard and hit update. 
and voila, just like that, I've actually added in a whole new dashboard. I can click save, and that dashboard's in there, and as you can see, it's already populating information. That's my WAF one. And you can see right there, my WAF Now Insight dashboard is uh, installed. I'm gonna do it again. I'm gonna give it a little token name here, F52. I'm gonna say Create Dashboard. I'm gonna go to Source. I'm gonna remove the existing XML. And then I'm gonna go back out to my GitHub site here, and I'm gonna go over, and I'm actually gonna grab the raw XML for my other dashboard, and this will be my big IP system metrics dashboard. What's in, go to the raw settings. I'm gonna copy all the XML data. And then I'll turn around and paste that into the source of my new dashboard. I'll go back to UI, and as you can see, it's already gonna start populating, and then data's already coming through. I'll hit save. And just like that, I now have added in two dashboards, one dashboard for advanced WAF metrics and one dashboard for big IP system metrics. Both these dashboards are ready, can be used, can be viewed, can be assigned, as you see here, to my homepage. And all good to go. Pretty straightforward. Uh, if you have any questions, please look at our blog post uh, and look at telemetry streaming as well. Thank you very much.